That is one rusty quarter. It's a big day for the old Land Cruiser. Today we're replacing the rear quarter. Like a lot of different parts on these old buses, the rear quarters are basically designed to rust. They just create a bucket made of sheet metal that fills with water, fills with mud, and after a couple of years you get Swiss cheese like this. It didn't help us that the previous owner of this car was an absolutely keen fisherman who loved backing his boat all the way into the water and despised rinsing off his four wheel drive. Lots of people just chop them off, get rid of them and replace the rear quarter with a more modern style rear bar like we've got on the patrol. But I love the laid back long look of these 60s and I just can't do without them. Anyway, I got my hands on a new quarter off a much better cared for 60 and I'm gonna put it on this one. So to get things started, I'm going to take this rear quarter apart and drill out all the spot welds. Um, and that's because marrying up all of these different sides to the body is going to be an absolute nightmare. And we'll have to measure and cut and come back and adjust and everything. Stuff that is going to be way easier to take it all apart. Right. Well, I'm glad we ripped it apart because now we know that the whole bottom is rusty. And uh, I think we better treat that before we put it back on. I did some minor rust repairs on the new rear quarter and no matter how long I delay, I can't put it off any longer. It's finally time to chop the old quarter off the car, which is terrifying because that's a big chunk of metal. So I hope I get it right. So to make sure my two pieces of metal line up, instead of just slicing along here and kind of guessing on the new one, I'm going to cut them at the same time. So I'll line it up pretty carefully, get it as close as possible. Come up a bit on this side. All right. I think that's just about correctly positioned. So I went back to the drawing board, or rather the angle grinder, and cut the back of the quarter in half. The perfect solution. As I precisely clamped the new quarter on, tensions were rising. beating hard and my hands were shaking, which made it hard to rule straight lines. But with sheer willpower I pushed through, and then it was time. I swear to God, the amount of stuff we found in this car has almost paid for it. If only there wasn't so much fishing stuff though, maybe we wouldn't have to deal with so much rust. Alright, let's rip this quarter off. Alright, tiny bit in there, still holding it on. Trying to rescue this cable. That is one rusty quarter. Really see how bad that was. Especially at the bottom. Like Especially at the bottom, it was just cheese. Absolutely nothing. And there you go, the rear quarter is absolutely off the 60 series. 
She's looking pretty naked at the moment, but you know what? I don't hate it as much as I used to. Pretty tempted to leave it as just a chop, but we've got the new parts and we've prepped it all up for that, so you know what? We'll get Jess to weld them on. Hi, I'm Jess, and I do the welding. I can't really position it that well with one hand, but what I'll try and get right is the angle. How good does that look? Just, just up there against it. Good? Yeah. So we finished welding up all the sides and we ground them back and it's looking absolutely mint. So it's been a couple weeks, but I'm back now to show you the last step on the rear quarter, which is body filler. Managed to score myself a sweet trailer in the meantime. So I'm just gonna start by blocking this back so it's nice and smooth and the body filler's got something to grip onto. Nice and easy, not too much of a sand. Now, wax and grease remover. And we're ready for filler. This is a really fast setting filler. So you have to work quickly, but on the flip side, you can apply multiple layers in a really short period. I'm just applying a thin layer over our weld line to fill in any imperfections. Just like that, give it 10 minutes to set and then sand back. Now for some reason I stopped filming the rest of this process. Luckily though, I did take some pictures that should show you everything else we did. First things first, it was more sanding and more body filler until the quarter was super flat. Then we figured she was ready for some paint. But as soon as we got some primer on her, we could see it wasn't totally smooth. But a bit more filler and then an actual coat of paint and she's come up beautifully. For one of the biggest jobs in this build and one of the, the things I was most nervous about doing, I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. <laughs>